Welcome to our presentation. We will be presenting some of the findings from the following research paper called The Essential Role of MBD5 in the Regulation of Somatic Growth and Glucose Homeostasis in Mice. Our aim is to concentrate on a particular aspect of the research paper, which is the essential role of MBD5 in the regulation of glucose homeostasis in mice and specific techniques used for this study. MBD5 is a protein that plays an important role in both regulation and development in the diagram shows the structure of MBD5. We are going to be discussing the importance of MBD5 on maintenance of glucose homeostasis. In the research paper, they have hypothesized that MBD5 plays a unique role during development. And you can see in the following diagram, the MBD5 knockout mice is indicated in the photograph. As the mouse has significantly smaller body size, this is also the homozygous mice which is rep represented by the two negative charges. We will cover the techniques used for identification of the specific mice that the researchers desire. This will be explained under the methodology PCR strive for this study. When considering the effect of MBD5 on glucose homeostasis, we need to compare and know the difference between the knockout mice and the wild type mice. In this investigation, both polymerase chain reaction and real time PCR techniques were used to produce the MBD5 deficient mice, and the MDD5 deficient mice were identified in the following way. By RT-PCR, they were unable to detect the absence of the full-length MBD5 mRNA in the homozygous mutants, which was confirmed by analysing the various tissues. These mice that were generated are known as the MBD5 deficient mice. The way this was done was by taking RNA samples from specific tissues to study whether the presence of mRNA has been knocked out from the homozygote mice which were produced by the intercrossing of heterozygotes. Additionally, the genotype of these mice are confirmed by PCR which has enabled them to work out the genotypes of all mice. For this study, the PCR parameters used for genotyping are indicated in the arrows P1, P2 and P3. This is a Western blot. This technique was used to identify the tissue mainly responsible for altered glucose homeostasis. This Western blot analysis shows the PAKT levels in the liver. Both PAKT S473 and T308 were increased with or without insulin treatment in the MBD5 deficient livers compared with control. In this diagram on the top we have KO which stands for knockout mice and WT which stands for wild type mice. The protein levels were analysed by a western blot with the antibodies indicated and alpha tubulin was used as a loading control. To investigate the physiological function of MBD5, they generated knockout mice by using PCR for gene targeting and gene expression levels were determined by real-time PCR. Real-time PCR is better for quantification improvement of the technique and gives you more precise quantitative results compared to PCR. Overall, the findings from the Western blot showed that the elevated insulin sensitivity in MBD5 deficient mice contributes to alteration of glucose homeostasis, resulting in hyperglycemia. 
also improved hepatic insulin sensitivity in the absence of MBD5 is also confirmed by an increase in AKT activation, phosphorylation, with or without insulin treatment. PCR and the Western blot techniques were both very useful for the study because they gave reliable results that led to the mutant mice showing an altered glucose homeostasis due to elevated insulin sensitivity. Moreover, the enhanced glycolysis found in the liver confirms the elevated insulin sensitivity in the mutant mice. Similar phenotypes observed in the knockout mice also showed persistent hyperglycemia, enhanced glucose intolerance, and elevated insulin sensitivity. The data indicates that MBD5 knockout mice are more sensitive to insulin because the hepatic glucose production is under the direct hepatic control of insulin action. Consistent with insulin hypersensitivity, the knockout mice displayed significant liver glycolysis. From the following results obtained, we can conclude that the elevated insulin sensitivity and the resulting persistent hyperglycemia contribute to postnatal lethality of the knockout mice. Their work reveals a critical role of MBD5, which plays an essential role in the control of glucose homeostasis. The mice generated in this study will be useful for further studies aimed at elucidating of the pathogenic and molecular mechanism. The study reveals the role of the MBD5 protein in the control of glucose homeostasis. These findings were successfully done by using both PCR and the Western blot techniques. MBD5 deficiency results in a phenotype that has previously been connected to healthy aging, which is increased in insulin sensitivity accompanied by reduced glucose and insulin. Thank you for listening to our presentation.